Namaste children. Children, we are in chapter 5, editing text in MS Word 2010. In this, in the previous video, we have seen about how to start and how to enter. Enter in the sense how to uh, create a new document, save, close, open and also printing and exiting. All these features we have studied in the last video. And today in this video we are going to see about selecting and editing. What is that uh, editing children? Selecting we know how to select. But what is that editing? Making changes in a document is called editing. See I have typed something. I want to make few changes. Which means I am going to edit the document. That's all. So before uh, performing the editing, we have to choose the word or a line or a document. So you can see that in the picture to select a block of text together if you want to select. We can use the selection area which is the blank area in the left margin of the document. We can select the text in a variety of ways how to select as I said word wise sentence wise paragraph wise or the whole page or the entire document there are few procedures to be noticed you can see that in the image to select a word double click on that particular word use your cursor keep the cursor on that particular word give double click to select a sentence hold down the control key and click anywhere on the sentence okay you have to uh, hold the control key and you have to keep the cursor on that particular uh, line wherever it is and you have to click paragraph triple click anywhere in the paragraph or double click in the left margin of the paragraph hope you understood three times you have to click anywhere in the paragraph or double time you have to click in the left margin of the paragraph so that the whole paragraph will be selected and a large block of text click at the beginning of the text keep the cursor in the beginning of the text press the shift key and without releasing it click at the end of the text so you have to drag it and you have to bring down and you have to give click at the end of the text so that the large block a large block of text can be selected and at last now if you see I want to select the entire document click anywhere in the selection area while holding down the control key or triple click in the selection area this is also like uh, the same but anywhere you have to keep the cursor hold down the control key or triple click in the selection area so that you will be selecting the Text. So I have selected the text which I want to or where I want to make few changes. Then what can I do? I can insert the text. So in the class also I showed you how to enter. Now all in a sudden immediately I want to insert the text in MS Word. It is very easy to add new text to an already existing document for example knowledge is power uh, education is the premise of progress is that uh, continuously two sentences are there. so in between I want to add something so after knowledge is power before that education is premise of progress I need a, a cluster of uh, words we can say so or group of words or two three words together I want to add what should I do so immediately after that where you need no uh, you can keep the cursor there right side 
where you want to insert the text and then start typing only thing is you have to drag the cursor and you have to keep it where you want the new uh, text to be appear and immediately you can start writing you can start typing clear so the existing text which is present after the cursor will be shifted to the right side so whatever is there you no know, immediately that will be uh, sticking towards the right side so it is very easy for us to insert the text in ms word 2010 moving the text what is that moving what is that moving see i don't want this particular uh, sentence or a phrase in this uh, paragraph in this page in this document i want to move this from here please understand it's about moving i want to move it what should i do you can see that in the image you have to select the text which you want to move click on the cut button in the clipboard group you can see three buttons uh, first of paste is there and uh, right side you can see cut copy format painter and everything so the text uh, disappears from the document and it temporarily placed on the clipboard so what have we have to do is click on the cut button in the clipboard group on the home tab or press control plus x in the keyboard okay so the text will be disappearing position of the position the cursor at the location where you want to place the selected text so immediately it will be cut and you can take that word even in that in, uh, in that document to somewhere else at the bottom or in the beginning you may have uh, some space you may feel that it will be very effective if i place this uh, particular phrase in the beginning or at the end so immediately you know after giving this cut it will be disappeared from where uh, uh, it was existing and immediately you can keep your cursor wherever you need and you have to give right click clear click on the paste button if you give a uh, right button you will be getting the paste otherwise once again you have to go to the same options like paste you can see that in the image if you give that paste you can view that uh, cut item pasted somewhere or you can use control plus v and next is children moving is this moving we have cut and we brought that particular word to somewhere else that is totally moving now i want to tell you about copying the text copy we know na copy so copying the uh, exercises from the textbook you'll be copying it in your classroom so we know that in textbook also this will be available and also you are making a copy in your classwork note so both the sides it is available do you understand this is called copying copying the text copy and paste options are used to duplicate the text we can copy the text not only from one location to another within a document but also from one document to another please understand wherever you need it's ms word 2010 not only in that particular page where you are working even you can move anywhere this feature helps in reducing our time and effort in typing the only difference between copy and paste please listen there is a difference between copy and paste cut and paste okay so copy feature copies the text does not remove the text from its original place but cut feature but cut feature will help us to take out the word from that place and it will be replaced to something this is called cut copy cut okay so now what we are going to do is you have to select the text which you want to copy and you can go to the copy button it is there in the clipboard group on the home tab or press control c a copy of the selected text is placed on the clipboard position the cursor at the desired place wherever you need you can keep it click on the paste button in the clipboard group or you can go with 
control plus v the copy text appears at as its new location in the document that's all so next is deleting the text the same children the same uh, word provides the facility to erase the text you have to follow these uh, simple tips steps first is you have to select the text and next is press the delete key and at last you can see the word or the line or the document will be removed okay so one after the other if i made a mistake while writing no instead of writing the keyboard i had written as keyboard b o r e d i want to change the spelling so k e y b o till that it is right and after that i have mentioned as r e d that's wrong what should i do so after the d i have to keep the cursor and i can give i can press the backspace three times r e d will be disappeared t both b o e a r t immediately i can write so this is how we can make a no simple changes in the characters to delete a block of text so in group one paragraph i don't want this paragraph i am preparing a speech and i found uh, that particular paragraph is irrelevant i want to take it out what should i do you have to select the text and then press either the delete key or the backspace both options you have children you can have to select the text and you can go with Uh, either delete or backspace both will help out in achieving your need that's all so today we have studied how to select and edit the text editing and